So Meta Exploitable 2 has been released and is available for download from SourceForge. There's a lot of material about Meta Exploitable 2 on Rapid7's website at community.rapid7.com. So this video is going to take a look at using the Matilda that comes with Meta Exploitable 2 and getting it up and running on VirtualBox. The Meta Exploitable 2 is built for VMware but there is a license cost for the VMware workstation system that allows you to run multiple virtual machines and create new virtual machines. VirtualBox does not have that licensing restriction so we're going to use it in this exercise. So the first thing we do is download the Metasploitable 2 and it comes as a zip file. In this case, we've copied it into the VirtualBox VMs directory. By default, this will be in your user directory in a folder called VirtualBox space VMs. And this is where VirtualBox stores the virtual machines by default. So we'll extract that folder. And what's inside the zip file is the actual virtual machine created in VMware for Metasploitable 2. The Matilda application, along with other vulnerable web applications, DBWA, and a few others, are already in the virtual machine for Metasploitable 2. So we're not going to install Matilda on Metasploitable 2. We're simply going to install the Metasploitable virtual machine inside of VMware and then change the networking so that we can access the web applications over the VirtualBox host only network. By default, Metasploitable is, has the networking in NATed mode and we'll change that to host only mode. The virtual machine that we're going to use to access the websites it's going to be a Backtrack 5 R2 virtual machine that's already been installed in VirtualBox. This Backtrack 5 R2 machine already has a network card that's on the host only network. Host only just means that the virtual machines can talk to each other in the host machine, but no external machines are going to be able to connect to these virtual machines over the network interfaces. So Metasploitable 2 folder is inside. Just to keep the naming convention the same as the other machines on my computer, I'm going to change the name of the folder. And inside is the virtual machine. Then I copy the folder containing the virtual machine. and we're going to place it in the VirtualBox VMs directory. This directory might be in a different place on your computer. It depends on the defaults used. We don't need the zip file anymore. And we don't need the shell folder that was extracted from the zip file. So now we have the Metasploitable 2 folder in the VirtualBox VMs directory and inside we have the virtual machine that we downloaded. Now we're going to go ahead and get the virtual machine running in VirtualBox. So we're going to click New. Opens up the virtual machine wizard. Next. I'm going to use the exact same name that I named the folder. You don't have to do this, but it does make installation easier. In any case, just remember what you called the folder. And this is the name of the virtual machine that's going to appear here on the left in the menu. And if the folder names are different, VirtualBox will create a folder with this name. Since we're using the exact same name for our virtual machine as the name we gave the folder in the first place, it's all going to sync up automatically. We're going to leave the 512 megabytes of RAM for now. You can change this. For startup disk, 
we're going to use existing. We're going to use the one we downloaded. Click on the folder icon. Browse to the VirtualBox VMs Metasploitable 2 directory and choose the VMDK file. Hit next and create. So now we've created the virtual machine inside a virtual box. It's referencing the hard disk that came with the download. We didn't really have to create any new storage, virtual storage, and the machine is powered off. We're going to change some of the settings. So in the general tab, I like to show the banner for VirtualBox at the top of the screen. It's user's choice. It makes no difference. You can change the RAM if you want here at any time. It's not a bad idea to enable the some of the CPU support or motherboard support as it were. Everything else comes already preset when you download the image. You don't really need much video memory because we're not going to use Metasploitable itself as a terminal. Generally what we're going to be doing is using some other virtual machine to interact with Metasploitable as a server. It would be relatively rare that you log into Metasploitable and use its graphical terminal. But you can increase the video memory if you plan to do that and you can enable 3D acceleration as well. For the storage, we can see the metasploitable.vmdk we chose earlier. And in networking, this is going to be one of the key changes if you want to use a virtual box, virtual network as your pen testing practice area. Change this to host only adapter. Under advanced, you can change the promiscuous mode to allow virtual machines or allow all and you want to keep the Intel Pro MT desktop card. That card is very compatible with different kinds of tools. I'm going to hit OK and then we're going to start the machine. What we should see is that instead of the default 10 dot interface for ETH0 network card, we should see VirtualBox give Metasploitable, an IP address that starts with 192.168.56. That's the network that VirtualBox uses for its host only network. It starts handing out the IPs at 101 and goes up from there. Depends on what order the virtual machines are started as to which IP address will be given out to a particular machine. We already have Backtrack 5 running in one machine and we're starting Metasploitable. That will give us two machines on the network that are running. The Metasploitable login is either user or MSF admin. We're not going to use the user account because it doesn't have pseudo privileges. So we're going to use MSF admin. And the password is MSF admin. So at this point, we just go ahead and check the networking real quick and make sure it's working well. Quick IF config shows that ETH0 grabbed IP address 103. It's always going to be 192.168.56. something, and the numbering for the DHCP server starts at 101. Since this machine is the third one started on the network, it grabbed 103. You can change the DHCP settings in VirtualBox in the settings for VirtualBox itself. Go to Preferences and Network. There's the VirtualBox host only adapter. And there's an edit button for that. The address can be changed here for the network itself. And the DHCP server settings are on the other tab. And we can see that numbering is starting at 101 and going up to 254. 
That's why the network cards behave as they do. So now that we have Metasploitable running, we're gonna go over to our Backtrack 5 machine. We do not need to install Matilda on Metasploitable, it comes with it. So we'll first figure out what services are running on Metasploitable. Let's do a quick nmap, 192.168.56.103. We should see a web service running on port 80. And it is. And this is going to contain the various servers or web applications that are running on the Metasploitable server. So if we go to 192.168.56.101, excuse me, 103, slash Matilda, we should be able to get to the Matilda web application. And there it is. No installation needed, just needed to get the virtual, virtual machine running. There are other web applications that are running on Metasploitable 2. If we go back to Metasploitable 2 and go to the var www directory and do a listing, we can see that Matilda is just one application. There's also PHP Info, PHP My Admin, Tiki Wiki, DVWA, and so forth. Matilda and DVWA are generally going to have the largest number of vulnerabilities and both of those applications have levels built into them to where you can have easy, medium, or difficult. So both of those applications, DVWA and Matilda, are very good for training for web app pen testing. So basically this video has covered how to install Metasploitable 2 into VirtualBox and then how to pull up Matilda on a host only network from a Backtrack 5 machine that is on the same host only network as the Metasploitable machine installed.